bad dream. My head felt two sizes too small for my brain. Max Payne. I envy your name. And the killer was smiling. Pleased to meet you. I'm Frankie to bat Niagara. Niagara, as in you cry a lot? He had a baseball bat and I was tied to a chair. Pissing him off was the smart thing to do. Nothing wrong with a little laugh now and then. Take me, for example. I love to watch cartoons. Cartoon violence is a fascinating thing. Let's take a break. I need to take a leak and maybe grab a cold one at the bar. Don't worry. I'll be back to finish this off. And then, it's checkout time. You play, you pay, you bastard. He swaggered out, and the door clanged shut behind him, locks clicking into place. Everyone makes mistakes. Mine hadn't been to crack jokes about the goon with the bat. He'd have cracked my skull regardless. It hadn't even been to trust a girl with a gun. I had blindly gone after the first bad guy on my hit list when I should have been aiming further up the ladder, at the head of the Punchinello family. I couldn't bring myself to be pissed at Mona. Guess I had a soft spot for a pretty face. But when somebody decides to play baseball with your head, you tend to get sore. They had dragged me back to the basement of Lupino's hotel. I was beaten, bruised, and blue. I felt like the chair I had broken to get free. Ow. All I had was Niagara's bat, sticky with my own blood. Without a gun, I'd be no match for Frankie's men. I'd have to play hide and seek with them. Oh god, I have no health. So uh... What the fuck? Why were you rolling in place? Ammo. Okay. Full time this. It's the hardest part of the game, in my opinion. Careful, careful. Ah! I can't do anything. That sucks so badly. Hey, man, can I? Can I bait the mode? Here, all right. On. God damn it. Are you serious? Really now? What the hell? 
What? Look at him. Okay, there we go. Easiest way to do that. I will save now. That bit is painful. I cannot imagine doing this part normally. What the hell? Another newspaper caption for a murder scene. Frankie left his calling card, a Captain Baseball Bat Boy strip, next to a sewer passage filled with bodies. You'd better not mess with Captain Baseball Bat Boy. Even my arch enemy. Bicycle helmet girl swoons at the sight of me. Aha! There were enough corpses to put a mass murderer to shame. Interesting. Why would you guys use a calling card if you were a murderer? You were me. I guess that's the way out. Oh god. Oh god. Uh, there are bad guys all over the place. Oh, I'm back here. Horribly inaccurate, but good to use in a firefight, especially when you're one against seven. Oh, hey, I didn't notice this room. Hmm, this is a good thing I died. Sweet.
Let's get behind me. Let's get behind me. Good. Okay. Use the meat, use the meat. I'm in so much pain. No, I can use. All right. Just in case. Yep. Just in case. Back to the hotel. Things were fast going from bad to worse. The men in blue had come and gone. They had decorated the place with chalk outlines and tied it together with yellow tape. The cops who had stayed behind were dead. Frankie, his boys, and I had the place all for ourselves. Just forget about it. <laughs> just forget about it. Hey, just forget about it. That crazy witch, you should have heard her. She was a real scream when the boys caught her trying to cap the Don. Oh, that's friggin' bad. To the trio? That's even worse than what Frankie's doing to that poor bastard downstairs. She's gonna take a long time to die. The mobster muscle on the phone was talking about Mona. Punchinello's trio were nothing but bad news. It's pain! Okay, that was unexpected. I was looking at my phone that whole time during that cutscene. What the fu- ah. That didn't even kill him! Not that did. What? Oh my god. I need to save here. Dude, I am beaten and broken. Oh yeah, you do cover a little bit of health naturally. More evidence that Punchinello didn't like me much. The fact remains that all the victims so far identified in the Ragnarok shooting have been known criminals, many of whom had large doses of V in their blood. Reliable sources say that Max Payne was also among those killed, although no body has been recovered at this time. Reliable sources. That meant somebody thought the Mafia had me and didn't want the cops snooping around anymore. The body would be delivered to them barely recognizable. Case closed. Don Punchinello had the power to be that reliable source, which was no news. 
but his news was old news. Framing me hadn't been enough. Don Punchinello had put a hit on me. He wanted me dead, and it had been important enough for him to give written instructions to Frankie about it. Max Payne should die like a dog for the trouble he's caused. Frankie, I know I can trust you to give this matter the dedication it needs. Hold up, my leg fell asleep. Uh, if you hear me groaning in pain, that's why. Ah! Uh. What the? Man. Oh, the pills are gone. I took them. The hotel bar was fast developing quite a history. True to his words, Frankie was there having a beer. Jesus Christ! How the hell did you get loose? Got bored waiting. Thought, what the hell? We could just as well finish this here. I love how much of a smart ass he is. Wait, what am I doing this? Hang on. Yeet! Oh. God damn it. Headshots only, headshots only, headshots only. Wow. What the fuck is he doing? Oh fuck. There it is. There's absolutely nothing. Why? Oh, damn it. Deep back thing. Damn it, just blow me up. What the fuck? Oh, just go it.
tak, 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 tak. Foul. Nice. You have to suffer there to sue, you have to suffer there to sue. Do it. Come on. Thank you. There we go. Done. Thank you, thank you. You've been a lovely audience. Had enough? I don't play with girls anyway. Unfair! I spotted the tail as soon as I left the hotel. A big black Mercedes. I'd seen the car before. At that time, it had heralded impressive explosions. Vladimir was back. Bang! You're dead, Max Payne. I might have laughed if I remembered how. What's this supposed to be? Cops and robbers? Look, you want something with me? Get in line. Peace, man! Relax! You know you are a real news item. Armed and dangerous. I am going to make you an offer you can't refuse. <laughs> <laughs> I've always wanted to say that. It's a bum rap. I've been framed. Well, yeah, that's a moot point. Whatever you did or did not do, I'm sure you had good reason for doing it. Want to hear me out? I'm listening. Panchinello messing with V is bad for business all around. But that's not all. There is this guy, Boris Time, used to pull jobs for me. He's the captain of the cargo ship Charon. Now the bastard Turncourt has gone over to the other side, Poncinellos. The ship's loaded with high-res hardware, guns, my business. If Poncinello gets hold of that cargo, he's won and I have lost. And you'll have your work cut out for you. If you want to get to Poncinello, you will need heavy-duty persuaders. I am just the man to get them for you. Change the ship back under my flag, maybe pop two in the traitor dime's head while you're at it. You'll get enough guns to start the apocalypse. You in or out? Let's get this show on the road. Vladimir was one of those old-time bad guys with honor and morals, which made him almost one of the good guys. None of us was a saint. The Brooklyn Riverfront was a maze of rusty containers, sharp bone cranes looming up from the snowstorm. On a night like this, you couldn't help but think of the dark army of dead men sleeping with the fishes, cement shoes in line, 